everyone, this is going to be a video where I introduce you to my new rabbits. So it's quite an exciting video, but it's also quite bittersweet because it also reminds us of all the bunnies that we've lost. But um, I need to introduce you to who I have now, so I'm going to get started. So this is Primrose, and if you watched my really sad last video updating you that Poppy and Hector had died, then you will probably know who she is. Basically, we sadly lost Poppy on Christmas Day due to her problem, her digestive problem, and it was absolutely devastating. And that obviously left Hector all by himself, and he'd never lived alone since he'd been living with me, so it felt right that he needed a friend. So after about two weeks, I contacted a rescue and adopted Primrose. So she was from Honey Bunny's Rescue in Leicester. I go to university in Leicester, so it just worked out really well for me because over the Christmas holidays I was at home, and then when my mum and dad took me back to university in Leicester, they picked up this beautiful bunny and took her home with them back to Yorkshire. So this is Primrose, she's absolutely adorable. Now she ended up in the rescue because she was from a backyard breeder. A backyard breeder is basically a breeder who is really, really bad, they don't care, they just have lots and lots of bunnies in the back garden and they just look after them really bad and breed them for money. And Primrose was rescued with, I think, 11 other bunnies. I might be wrong, but she was rescued with a lot of other bunnies, including her babies. I know that she had at least six babies, but I think she may have had eight altogether. And the breeder was trying to sell her babies at three weeks old. Now, rabbits are not meant to leave their mum that young. I think they need to wait at least seven weeks or something like that. So it was really dreadful that the breeder was trying to sell her babies at three weeks. So she was rescued along with the dad bunny, eight babies, and I think there must have been two more. But yeah, she was one of the lucky ones that was taken out. And then the rescue told the breeder they would come back for the others the following day. But by the time they got there, the breeder told them that they were gone and he'd sold them on to someone else. So it's really sad and we've just got to hope that those other rabbits ended up in a decent place. But that could be unlikely with a breeder like theirs. But Primrose was one of the lucky ones. She was taken into the rescue, um, she was spayed, she was vaccinated, and then she was ready to be rehomed. So I adopted her on the 10th of January 2015 and bonded, well, and, well my mum bonded her with Hector. What are they birds doing? Shut up! Well, anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. So my mum bonded Primrose with Hector and it was a really easy bond. It took less than a day. Usually bonding rabbits takes much longer and you've got to stay with them at all times. But Primrose and Hector were absolutely fine. I think it's because Hector was so used to having company and Primrose was so used to having company. And uh, Hector had just missed having a companion so much that it, I think he was just over the moon to have Primrose. So yeah, he was really, really happy with her and they had a good few weeks together. And I'm so glad that we adopted Primrose because I would have felt so guilty if Hector had passed away and didn't have a friend. Hello, I'm being stalked today. This is my cat Domino, if you don't know. So yeah, we ended up with Primrose. She was originally called Caitlin, but I know people called Caitlin, so it seemed weird keeping that name for her. So she's my little Primrose. Another flower. <laughs> she's gorgeous. But then, as you will know, sadly, a couple of weeks later, Hector ended up passing away and it was absolutely devastating. I was at university, my mum had to contact me and let me know and it was just a massive shock. People are saying maybe it was something to do with the fact that Poppy had just died a few weeks before and it was something related, but it wasn't at all because Poppy had a diagnosis and her condition was not contagious or anything. Hector was just a massive shock. We think it might have been a heart problem or something because his nose was quite blue as he was passing away. Oh, somebody scared her. She's amazing. Did you see that? She literally just jumped up that hutch. That hutch is higher than two foot. And she just jumped it in one go. She's absolutely amazing. She's a huge bunny though. It's all right. It's all right, Nugget. And she can jump back down as well, so she'll come down again. She doesn't even need a step up. I mean, sometimes she'll use it because she's got a little house there, but she usually doesn't. As I was saying, we sadly lost Hector and it was absolutely devastating, out of the blue, shock. I was just in shock for ages. Um, I still am really shocked that we don't have him anymore. Just devastating. But obviously that left Primrose all by herself. I don't know where she has just gone, so I'm gonna film the guinea pigs for a while. So that left my poor little 
Primrose all by herself and she's been by herself for about a month now or something but I decided that the right thing to do was to get her a friend so I'll show you what happened with that so I ended up with these two now I was only really planning on getting one friend for Primrose but these two are absolute darlings and me and my mum just fell for them completely and had to take them on they have been in a rescue for nearly a year and nobody wanted them and we cannot understand why no one wanted them because they're absolutely gorgeous. They are Rex breed so they feel absolutely amazing. You are so sweet aren't you? Now usually red eyed white rabbits are quite unwanted, people don't want to adopt a rabbit of that colour but this little man is just gorgeous. Pictures really don't do him justice, he looks, I think the video is doing him justice. But I think he is absolutely stunning and he is so gentle. So he and this little girl are also from Honey Bunny's Rescue. And I just felt so sorry for them because the rescue has been trying to get them a home since I think April. And it just it was not fair that nobody wanted them. They had a little bit of interest but these little rabbits can get sore feet. And as soon as people found out about the sore feet, they turned their off a doubt and said no, I don't want these rabbits anymore. Did you just yawn? Hello. So, of course, I felt sorry for them, my mum felt sorry for them, we thought they were beautiful, so we adopted them. Because we can financially take on a trio, so it just felt like the right thing to do, because these little ones have been waiting for so long. So this little boy has been named Reuben, because he has red eyes, and it reminded me like ruby red eyes, but as he's a boy, I thought Reuben suited him. And this little one, who's hiding, she's a bit fat, she's a bit fat at the moment, we need to make her lose a bit of weight but she is called velvet basically because her coat feels like velvet both their coats feel like velvet so it just seems like a cute name and they're lovely and i got them yesterday which was the 21st of february 2015 and we will well i'm going to start bonding today actually i'm going to film it so that should be up in a few days hopefully and hopefully it will go well <coughs> I have no idea what to expect, but hopefully that will go okay. Primrose is missing company and hopefully these two will accept her. They are very nice gentle bunnies, so hopefully, but you never know. Hello. They're just in the bathroom at the minute because I have nowhere for them to go outside. But when they are bonded, they will go outside with Primrose. If they bond, that is. Um, do I smell weird? Can you smell Primrose on me? Yeah, they're absolute darlings, I love them to bits. I only got them yesterday and I'm absolutely smitten with them. They're very friendly. The foster did an amazing job with them and I don't know how she handed them over after having them for about 10 months. So, must have been very difficult. But she's got two more bunnies going in. But as they're from a rabbit rescue, that means that because I've adopted these two, two more rescue rabbits can be saved and can have a place at the rescue. Dear Velvet. So sorry this video is so long but I hope you like Primrose Velvet and Ruby and I'm going to start bonding today so please just look for that. Okay thank you for watching. Bye!